That gentleman there with the clipboard is Robert. He's sort of in charge of things. If I could just ask you to step to level two and be careful. <laughs> How do you feel up there? Yeah, I'm all right. It's a bit warm, but yeah, I'm all right. I just need to test out if you're affected by the altitude by asking so some basic I just questions. I need to find out if you're affected by the altitude by asking you a couple of basic questions. OK. OK. How many hands does a human being have? Two. Can you name no. all of Santa's eight reindeers? Can you name all of Santa's eight reindeers? Dancer and Donna, Cupid, Donna yeah, and Dancer and Cupid and Blitzen and... Now Cormac, you've repeated Donna Cormac twice Cormac. there. OK. <laughs> Dark motion sickness test. No. Uh, we'll do that now, so if you could step down. All right, explain to him. You're going to spin him around 15 so times and throw the dart to the dart. Spin around 15 times and you have to throw the dart to the dart board and you have to score a minimum of 10. OK. <laughs> all right, we hold those. Stand by. OK. Spin him 15 times and yeah. go. One, two, three, <laughs> four, three, 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 four, as I've explained to you several times now, it's not a police matter. But I didn't do anything wrong. I was over the white line about this much. Then you were parked illegally. So they told my car away and you're not going to do anything? I'm doing my job. Oh, yeah. And I bet it makes you dead proud and all, eh? Lying in bed at night, bigging yourself up while next door's getting burgled. Of course, we could always continue this discussion down the station. No, yeah. no, no, we're all right, aren't we? Aren't we? Come on. Come on, Jack said, I know you're in there. Did you hear me, you horrible little cow? Open up or I'll come in and sort the pair of you. You bang on my door like that again and I'll sling you over the balcony. Do I you want hear my me? money, Jackson. You'll get it, I've told you a thousand times. Yeah, yeah, I've heard you talk. Now I want to see my rent. What kid's in there and you're scaring him? Oh, scaring him, Mama. Well, I'm going to do a lot more than that if I don't get my cash soon. You'll get it tomorrow. Oh, I'm not messing around here. If I don't get it by this time tomorrow, me and a few lads are going to come round and redecorate. And that includes you. I know what you must be thinking, but I didn't kill Cindy. Well, that's a start, Andy. Were you having an affair with her? What? No. Cindy's with Robert. She wouldn't do that. Then what's going on? I wish I knew. All I know is that Cindy's dead. And from where I'm sitting, I might even be next. And what about this beating? Who were those two guys? They were looking for a girl. Serena Black. Serena Black. What have you got to do with her? Excuse me, we really do need this bed now. Cindy called me about a week ago. I hadn't seen her for years. She said she needed someone to help her. Someone outside her usual circle. And it needed to be done on the quiet. She even made me use the back gates now and had seen me coming and going. I thought you two had some kind of spectacular bust up. Why would you want to do her any favours? Don't believe everything you read. Yeah. We broke up, but I was always there for her. What would she need help with? She had some weird deal going on with this Serena. Cindy asked me to be like a go-between. She didn't want to be seen with this girl for some reason. Why not? She didn't tell me all of it. She didn't want me getting too involved. Go on. Serena was living out on the street, and Cindy asked me to find her somewhere to stay for a few days. Keep her hidden out of the way, she said, until she could get hold of some money to give her. Why would she give her money? Beats me. The only thing that makes sense to me is that maybe Serena was blackmailing Cindy. So you stashed Serena away while Cindy got the money to pay her off. Then what? Cindy got ten grand out of the bank and I was supposed to meet Serena today to hand it over. Ten grand? Is that all? I assumed it was a down payment. The money's hidden in my flat. That's why I went back there. Cindy said she would explain everything when I handed over the money. That's all I know. Andy, let me get this straight. You were going to meet Serena later today. Where? Candy Park, four o'clock. That's not all I... I spilled my guts to those two geezers. Told them the time and the place. They're going to be waiting for her. All right. Hello, Mr. Wade. Andy, we're going to need more questions, yeah? Well, I'm not going anywhere, am I? Send in the director, Robert. <laughs> Actually, no. Oh, Hi, guys. Okay. okay. Oh, Marvin, I need to take you on to set. We'll do the body double. If you guys, if, we'll bring you up in a second. Okay. okay. This way. All good? Yeah. Looking yeah. good. Looking good. 
Super, just this way. Yep. Oh, straight sorry, through here. That's this way. This is Andy, horse hunting. How you doing, Andy? You go around there, hop See straight you, on. All right. So I'll go out short. I'm just going to give you the action, deliver the last line, and we're good to go. There all go. set, all comfortable. Yeah. So wait for action, then give us the line. Okay. And action. Lucy had a uterine rupture, as we suspected, and she lost a lot of blood. But she's okay. We had to operate. It was very serious, I'm afraid. The only way to save her was to perform a hysterectomy. No. Please, no, she's only 23. But surely there was something you could have done. I'm sorry, I wish we could. We really had no choice. Howard, listen to me. It's okay. I know what you're saying, and if Lucy needs us, we'll be there for her. That's not what I'm saying. This is the only baby she'll have. What are you doing? We just need to face up to the fact that things might not work out as we planned. Lucy might not want to let her go. But this is our baby. Now she wants to keep her. She doesn't know what she wants yet. We need to let her make that choice. Howard. Well, it's just, there was you sinking double whiskies in the pub, but Pete says you're skint. You can't pay your bills. What I can or can't do is none of your business. I'm just trying to help. Here, have a few quid on me. 